This is a review for the Shark Navigator Freestyle. Let's start by looking at this vacuum's raw performance results. The vacuum's airflow was measured at 26 CFM. It failed our filtration and sealing test, largely because it lacks a HEPA post-motor filter. In our carpet stress test, the Navigator Freestyle picked up most surface level debris very well, though it did struggle to pick up finer debris, namely flour, more so than more expensive cordless vacuums we tested. In our carpet deep clean test, the Navigator Freestyle picked up only 14 grams of debris after being pushed back and forth three times over an area of carpet embedded with 30 grams of fine debris. Next, we have our hard floor stress test, and here we see the Shark once again picking up surface level debris quite well, though it did have some trouble picking up large debris in this particular test. The Navigator Freestyle failed our crevice test. It was not able to pick up the debris from the test crevice, even with considerable effort. Next, we have battery life and performance, and here the Shark was tested to run for 13 minutes on its carpet setting. Recall that on that setting, it picked up only 14 grams of debris in our deep clean performance test. Next, we have ease of use. The Shark Navigator Freestyle is very light in the hand because it features a more traditional upright type of design in which most of its weight is distributed towards the bottom of the vacuum. Another positive for this design is the fact that the vacuum stands up on its own. Most of the cordless vacuums we tested do not. A negative for this design is the fact that it doesn't allow the Shark to get as low to reach under furniture as most other cordless vacuums we tested. The Navigator Freestyle is very easy to control. You simply step on a button on its cleaner head to turn it on. You can step on it again to switch between carpet and hard floor mode. You can step on the switch a third time to turn the vacuum back off. The Shark's dustbin has a maximum measured capacity of 600 milliliters. Moving on to what we like and dislike about this vacuum, first let's talk about what we like. The Freestyle is very inexpensive. We definitely like its low price point. It also picks up surface level debris, both on carpet and hard floors, very well for a cordless vacuum at its price point. We also like the fact that it stands up on its own, and we also like its very large dustbin. Moving on to what we dislike about this vacuum, the Freestyle doesn't deep clean very well, and it also cannot be used as a hand vacuum. Though both of these negatives are not deal breakers by any means. The Shark is, after all, a very inexpensive cordless vacuum. What is a deal breaker is the vacuum failing our filtration and sealing test. Its performance in this test demonstrates that much of the debris that it picks up, specifically finer debris, it puts out right back into the air in the same room where it is actually picking up the debris. And that airborne debris will eventually find its way right back onto the carpet or hard floor where you picked it up to begin with. This is a deal breaker and really the only reason why we cannot recommend this vacuum. The most inexpensive cordless vacuums that we do recommend are not quite as inexpensive as the Shark Navigator Freestyle, but they do pass our filtration and sealing test. They also deep clean much better, and they also can be used as handheld vacuums. Definitely check out the description of this video for all of our latest specific model recommendations, and thank you for watching.